you are known to abhor corruption. How relevant is where you get your money from to fund a campaign to the quest to fight corruption in this country? Thank you very much, Raymond. Uh, let me say that first and foremost, involving yourself in political activities is a public service. Okay. Therefore, it stands to reason that public must fund it. Just as we don't expect you to take public funds to fund your private activities. The same way, we should not be expecting people to use their private funds to also fund political or public activities. And this, unfortunately, is the situation where individual aspirants for office, be it uh, presidential aspirants or parliamentary aspirants, they all have to fund for uh, they are, fund their expenses from their the undisclosed sources. It, I just have to assume that yeah. from their private sources. And uh, let's face it, these amounts are huge figures. I don't know how much it is, but they are not philanthropies. They are investing and they have to recoup it. So when they get back to office or they get the opportunity one day, they have to recoup and recoup with interest such that the subsequent elections or the next or upcoming elections, they may have enough money to fund it. But even if it is a one-off transaction, you may agree with me that the person may have to refund that money to wherever he or she got it from. Even if it is his personal money, he must have to recover it. How do you recover it? I don't think we expect that it is recovered from the salaries that are paid to them. I don't believe that any of them earn salary in fact, be it president or minister, and salary, which is enough to pay back those amounts. Therefore, one has to get himself or herself involved in some procurement malpractices or financial engineering, re-engineering, so that he can get some funds and pay back. So I think it's a very important topic, which we should have discussed yesteryear, when our democracy started. But it's better late than uh, never.